Now let's look at depreciation. So it's the opposite of appreciation. So depreciation was when the value of something becomes less and less over time, so like secondhand items. So this is the formula, V equals to P times one minus R to the power of N. So the only difference is that the sign is a negative as it's going down over time, all right? So it's not too difficult to memorize. All the values are same as the appreciation, where V is our future value. Okay, and P is the initial value, R is the rate, N is the number of terms. So let's give it a go. Example 9 says Chris buys a second-hand car for $14,400. If it depreciates in value at 12% per annum, find its value after 5 years. Okay, so this car, the value of it will decrease as time goes by, right, because it's getting older. So what I'll do is start off by telling you what P is the initial value, the rate is 12%, the number of terms is simply 5 years. Okay. Now put it into your depreciation formula, that one there, where the sign is negative or minus. Put your values in, Okay, the initial value, the rate and the number of terms. Just put it into a calculator, that's the value of the car in 5 years time. So it's gone much less. Okay, so simple as that, let's try some questions. Question 19 says a car is purchased for $35,000. It is depreciated in value by 15% per annum. Okay, so again, it's gonna go down in value. So find its value after three years. Okay, so that's gonna be our N. So P is our initial value, rate is the 15%, N is the three years. Put it into your depreciation formula, okay, where this is the principal rate, the number of terms, and just calculate it, that's just it. Okay, so exactly the same as the example. Okay, now that we've got that, let's go into B. Find the depreciation after three years. So when it says find the depreciation, it's asking us how much did it depreciate by? How much did it decrease by? Okay, so this is the value after three years. This is the original value. As you can see, this is much less. So to find the difference or how much it decreased, we simply subtract that value from the original value. Okay, that value there. Okay, and then you can just find the difference, which is this, just subtract it. And that's how much it depreciated within the three year period. Okay, and that's it. Question 20 says a car now worth $10,000 has been depreciating at a rate of 20% per year for the last five years. What was its original value five years ago to the nearest cent? This is a little bit different because it's asking us for the original value, which is the initial value, not the future value. So it says car now, it's worth that much. But we want to find the value that it was five years ago. So the initial value, all right? So I'm going to say V, which is our future value, is going to be the value that's now, okay, $10,000. The rate is 20%, so 0 0.2, and is five years, okay? So if I put it into the formula, it's going to be uh, V, which is $10,000, equals to the principal or the initial value. That's the one that we're going to find. 1 minus the rate to the power of 5, the number of terms. So we have to go ahead and find P, so we can find the initial value. So P will be, I just calculated 1 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.8, just simplify. So P would be... See how $10,000 is P times that? So if I divide both sides by 0 0.8 to the power of 5, this will be eliminated, so I have P equals to $10,000 divided by 0 0.8 to the power of 5. Just a bit of algebra, okay? So I've got that, just put that into your calculator and you should get something like this. Okay, have a look. So basically, this value, okay, is a lot more then the car is worth now. Because originally it was a lot more, but as time goes by, after five years, it depreciates, okay, to that value. So that's pretty much it, that's depreciation.